Good morning, everybody. I just made it on time. My timing was perfect there. Wow. I'm always on time for the courses. That's the first bit of advertising that I'll do. So as you just heard, this is the first part of a two-part course. It'll be the third time of teaching it for Encore. And it's developed over that period. It, it was initially a kind of 1900 to the current day thing, and it's now gone all the way back to 1800. So that's basically when DC began. And you'll be amazed to hear how much and how little music there was in DC at various times. What I've tried to do with the program is to, is to highlight some of the key figures who were born in this time or who lived in this time or reached fame in this time in every genre of popular music. And I'm very specific about popular. I'm not talking about traditional music. I'm not talking about classical music. Though, of course, the genres blend a little bit around the edges. I think you'll be amazed that DC is and always has been a music town and has contributed to every single style of music. You look at the Grammys last week, and if you were to look at a list of the number of DC musicians who've been Grammy nominees, and in fact, even the guy who's been doing the sound on the Grammys since the Grammys began when it was just a radio program was an engineer from DC as well. He recorded the Jazz Samba album by the Charlie Bird Trio in a church hall on 16th Street, and that's the album that introduced Bossa Nova to the world and went to number one for 17 weeks in 1962. So many little stories like this, all about the music of DC. You'll hear about uh, Sousa in the 1800s. You'll hear about the world's greatest minstrel, an African-American minstrel from Howard University, whose father was the dean of the Howard University Law School. And he was earning $18,000 a year in 1880, touring Europe for 20 years at the request of the Queen, Queen Victoria. So a lot of stories in this. Over the three years, the program has also kind of morphed, and it's now becoming a monthly article about music history of DC in the Fairfax Times, and a, a Georgetown University Press book coming out soon about all of this. But the beauty of coming to see the course here for Encore is you're not just reading about it, and you don't just get a gorgeous accent like mine talking to you every Monday at lunchtime. <laughs> Because uh, I'm not American. <laughs> uh, but you also get to see and hear the music thanks to the miracle of YouTube and all the videos that we've been digging up and, and original films. We've got a couple of movies coming out soon, uh, which you've got interviews with great DC musicians like Nils Lofgren and uh, Mike Stern, the jazz musician, all kinds of people. So that's what you're getting for your uh, investment in Encore Learning. It's going to be in this very building around noon. See, I'm good at timing, eventually, when I get here on time, uh, on Mondays. And I look forward to seeing you. Thank you. We welcome a new instructor to Encore Learning this year, George Brockaway. And he will be teaching a course called A Spiritual Guide to Retirement. And using a seminar format, George will share questions and readings, which will focus the discussions for each session. This is